What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about losing 10 pounds in one week. So let's get started. I did a post on Instagram a couple weeks ago. If you guys aren't following me there, give me a follow at Gage Girl Training. The expectation of people losing 10 pounds in one week is that they are going to lose 10 pounds of this, 10 pounds of fat. When the reality is you are actually going to lose a substantial amount of water, some muscle, and maybe a little bit of fat. So how would you do it? If you were trying to lose 10 pounds in one week, could you do it? The answer is a resounding yes. And what most diets out there have you doing is number one, they have you going lower in carbohydrates. Your body can store about 550 to even up to 600 grams of carbs inside of your muscle cells. If you deplete your body of all of your carbs, you're going to lose just three to four pounds of water weight just by cutting carbs alone. It's just water. It's gonna come right back the second you start eating carbs again. So three to four pounds of it will just be from going low in carbs. Now, your body can also hold a substantial amount of water weight. You could easily take a lot of things like diuretics, which are going to force your body to expel sodium, which is going to make you lose water weight. And if you just start overtraining and under eating, will you lose a little bit of weight? Will you lose a little bit of fat? The answer is yes. But what's going to ultimately end up happening, you guys, is when you lose weight, what you really want is you really want to lose body fat and you really want to keep your muscle because when you drop fat and keep muscle, you end up having a tight, nice, lean physique. And unfortunately, too many people get so preoccupied with the scale that they think that they're really doing their body good when the reality is all you're going to look like is a skinny fat version of yourself when you only lose water weight. So my caution to you guys is this. If you are going to take some sort of quick fix, detox, fad, whatever, know that you're only losing water. Know that when you drop carbs, you're going to drop water weight. Know that when you expel sodium from your kidneys, it's going to pull water out of your body. It is not permanent, it is temporary. So if you really, really, really wanna to get to the heart of the matter, which is how you look, and how you look is being impacted by your body fat, not the water, focus on losing this. Now, how do you focus on losing this instead? Well, you need to be in a caloric deficit. You need to be eating enough protein to keep your body in a positive nitrogen balance. Yes, you need to be working out, but you can't be under eating, you guys, if you want to sustain your muscle and lose fat at the same time. So I do not encourage you guys to just deplete yourselves of water and salt and carbs. You're going to have headaches. You're going to feel miserable. Your metabolic rate is going to be lower, which is going to make your body hold on to fat even longer. So you guys, before you put yourself through some ridiculous experiment, don't do it. Stick to something more feasible and realistic. If you need help getting on a more realistic plan, let me know. I'd be happy to help you guys. But can you lose 10 pounds in a week? The answer is yes. Is it going to be 10 pounds of fat? The answer is no. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.